and welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here hello i'm keaton so today's video is going to be a little get ready with me i'm going to answer some of the questions that you guys asked me on instagram so if you guys aren't following me over there that's where i post it if you guys wanted to ask me questions i took them from there um but i'm gonna get ready with you guys and i'm gonna do my makeup i have so many new products to try out you guys i'm in a different bathroom setting it might be just a little bit echoey but i wanted to use this window right here behind the camera just as i can have some natural lighting i just always do my makeup with like a good natural light so i wanted to set up in here even though it's a little echoey and i am at home so i picked up a lot of my pr that gets mailed here to my house in texas and so i just have so much to play with today and i'm just so excited so let's just get right into it first things first i've been loving this new mario badesco badescu or whatever however you say it lip mask it's like vanilla and acai i think you guys it's so good i'm really mad because I've been using a lip polish recently, which I'm never, I never was like a huge fan of lip polishes, but there's this one from Fresh Beauty. I've been using it like as part of my nighttime skincare routine and it makes my lips so soft, but I really, really like this lip mask. Like, look at my lips now. They're so luscious. I'm using this Anastasia Brow Freeze for my eyebrows. I'm going to link all of the products that I use down below. But the first question I got is what is the worst and best part about living in LA? The best part, okay. I feel like the best part is the weather and just the vibe. Like I'm not kidding when I say the weather is truly unbeatable. Like it's probably one of the best places to live weather wise. Like it's just always nice. I love when I have one brow down and one not and like this one looks like I'm like, hello. <laughs> it's just so crazy. Um, yeah, I feel like the weather is just like the best part. Like there's just always something to do in LA. Like I'll never be bored because there's always something that's going on. I feel like obviously the worst part is like the traffic and stuff like that. It's just always like crowded. Everywhere you go, it's like busy and there's always a wait for restaurants and you have to have a reservation. And a lot of stuff in LA, I feel like is bougie for no reason. Like they make it like this like exclusive thing that it like doesn't need to be. Like it's like a hot dog spot and it's like a two hour wait. Like I just don't, I just don't get what we're doing. So that's like a really annoying part about living in LA. But I feel like one of the best parts is just like the weather is perfect. And also like, I love that the atmosphere of like the people there are really creative. Like I know that a lot of people talk really negatively about the people in LA, but like, I feel like there's a lot of creative people there that are, do a lot of similar things to what I do. And I like that. Like I like being surrounded by people who are like-minded with me. There are crazy people everywhere though. Like I guess more are in LA, but like there's crazy people everywhere. So don't let people scare you. This next question is most underrated makeup product. And I am answering it now because I feel like the product that I'm using right now is so underrated you guys this is the say beauty this is the glowy super gel this is in the shade star glow i'm obsessed with this stuff i put it on as a primer as you can see like i'm putting it on before i do any of my other makeup and look how dewy and glowy it makes my skin look i don't know i just feel like it gives my skin life i go through like a whole thing of that so quickly i think it's because you're not i don't think you're supposed to use it as a primer but like i do because it's just such a good product um i'm trying to think of another makeup product that i feel like is super underrated that like i love what's an overrated makeup product i feel like an overhyped makeup product is tarte shape tape like i know that like took over the nation but like it's just a concealer i don't know i wasn't like so groundbreakingly impressed with it. So I would say that was like an overhyped makeup product, but underrated. Hmm. I'm gonna stick with this because I feel like most people like don't do primer or like they don't care about it. And I genuinely feel like when I don't do this before I put my foundation on, I don't look as dewy or glowy. Like it's just, it's, it's just not the same. Also, I know I said I'm doing my makeup in front of the window the lighting is going to change it's going to look a little different it's okay you guys like i know it's going to be kind of annoying but it is what it is now i'm going to try out some new makeup products these i also got from say beauty this is the glowy super skin it is a lightweight luminous foundation i've seen a lot of really good reviews of this it's supposed to be like a lighter coverage foundation but it's supposed to be really glowy which is what i personally like i always use either the dior forever skin foundation you guys know it's my go-to 
or I use Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I actually want to try the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless filter because surprisingly, I've never tried that before. Um, even though it like went viral everywhere, I never tried it. So I'm gonna try this out. I'm obsessed with their packaging. It's glass, it's nice. What is the, this is the shade seven. They sent me shades seven and eight. So I don't know which one I'm going to be, but we're gonna try seven. I put it on the back of my hand. It's really liquidy, like it's very runny. Okay, this is a little bit lighter than I would probably go, but that's because I didn't pick my shade. Let's see. Okay, it's actually really glowy and it feels really light, but I don't think this is my shade. I'm gonna look at this shade. Okay, eight is more the vibe. We're gonna go with eight. I feel like it looks like it's washing me out a lot more on camera than it is in real life. Like this is definitely a more sheer coverage, like foundation vibe. It's very light, it's very liquidy, but it's not as white in person. And also I'm gonna do some like bronzing and contour and stuff. So it'll look um, a little bit darker than it is right now, but I really like it. It's really, really light. This would be like a really good summer makeup, I think. I think Save Beauty has like, really good products for that it's not so light though where i feel like i have to like pack on a lot like it feels like a really good amount if you're like a clean girl <laughs> makeup girly this is a very good product for you okay i'm trying out this it cosmetics dark spot concealer and serum combo i don't know if i'm gonna like this very much we're gonna just apply it Okay, the next question is, what would be your death row meal? Okay, this is gonna sound, maybe this is maybe this is dumb. I said this the other day to someone and someone was like, are you serious? I said Mexican food. <laughs> like, I don't know why, but I love Mexican food. Like, I'm just obsessed, like, give me chips and queso. I would just like, oh my God, I would crave that. I think I was talking to Brandon about it and he said he would get like a burger or something. I'm not a big burger girl, but like obviously I would have so many things. Like I feel like you can do that if it's like your death row meal or do you have to pick like one item? Like could I have, this is like a really bad combo, but like could I have Mexican food, like queso and chips and then also sushi? Like that's so disgusting, but like give me some sashimi. I would just be so happy. I'm not kidding you guys, like I love fish like i am obsessed with fish i could eat sushi every day of the week i could eat pokey every day of the week it would not phase me in the slightest i don't think i would ever get sick of it that's how much i'm in love with it but like i feel like that's a really weird you know like last you know meal before you die okay the concealer was good it's not my favorite concealer but it doesn't matter it did the trick you know I got some new products from Nude Sticks that I've never tried. This one is the Nudes Matte in the shade Bondi Bell, I believe. You know that I use my Rare Beauty contour stick in the shade Happy Soul every single time I do my makeup, and I do not stray from that. So this is gonna be a real test to see if I like it. I always take my beauty blender and I rub it on the top of whatever contour stick I'm using because if I draw on my face you guys it takes all of my makeup off I don't it doesn't matter what brand it is doesn't matter how creamy it will literally take all of my makeup off this is really cute though this is like a very very nice buildable contour I will say I think the rare beauty one is more pigmented like I can do like three dabs of the rare beauty the rare beauty one and it'll be like all over this one i'm like really going in to try and make sure it's contouring i also find doing this just like makes it less harsh you know it makes it look more blended out we're gonna just blend yeah this one is definitely i would say not as pigmented but it's more buildable it's just as pretty looks just as nice it's just not as pigmented as the Rare Beauty one, but I really like the shade. Uh, someone asked me if I have any bucket list places. So I feel like my main top bucket list place is London. I really want to go to London, you guys. And that's like Brandon's dream place he wants to go. He thinks that all the girls in London would love him. I think they would too. <laughs> but we always joke about it because he's like, oh my gosh. 
the people in the UK would just eat me up. Like I just like die because he's just so funny. But like our dream is to go to London. Like we want to go to London so bad. So we're probably going to do that. Um, where else do I want to go? I'm going to go to Amsterdam. I want to go to, I'm a city girl. Like I don't, I, now that I'm thinking about it, like I don't have a lot of beachy spots that I'm like dying to go. Um, yeah. Now I'm going to do this blush. Uh, it's the same, it's from Nude Sticks, but it's in the shade, let's see, it's in the shade Sunkissed. Since I know this is going to be a little less pigmented than I would normally do, because I use the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush, I'm going to just see how buildable this is. Yeah, it's super, oh, that's pretty. I love how dewy this is. As you can see, I've not used any powder yet. I'm going to use powder next. But lately I've been doing like really, really minimal powder because I'm just like not into that right now. And we're just keeping it simple and cute. Someone said, what is my favorite book that I've read this year? I would say my favorite book, oh, okay. Well, I'm not gonna count the Throne of Glass series because I already know it's gonna be like my favorite series I read all year. That's what I'm reading right now by Sarah J Mass. I know it's gonna be my fave. But I just read a thriller, it's called The Perfect Marriage, and it's by, I think Geneva Rose is the name. It is such a good thriller, you guys. Like, I was so hooked, I finished it in like eight hours. Like, I was just straight reading it. I was so in love with it, but it was really good. If you guys like thrillers and stuff like that, you guys should read that book. If you guys are interested in the books that I read, I have a Goodreads account where I post every single book that I've read and I also like share my updates as I'm reading it I write little like notes I also can see your guys books that you guys are reading so whenever you post updates and stuff I always like go on there and like them or like I comment on them and stuff like that so if you guys want to add me on Goodreads you can and I have a whole highlight on my Instagram of all of my book reviews and like everything all of my thoughts about all of the books that I've read okay so this is pretty much like the only powder that I use it's like under my eyes because the second I wipe it like this I use the brush to just lightly go like this over my whole face just because I feel like this is as much setting as I need to do. The shine on my forehead and everywhere else is coming through because of that primer, I'm telling you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys, I totally forgot. Charlotte Tilbury sent me their new blush sticks. I have been dying to try these out. Oh my gosh, I forgot I just did that blush, but it's okay because it's a little bit like faded right now like i feel like it just didn't stay as pigmented as i would have wanted it to so we're gonna go on top of the blush i just did with this i probably shouldn't have put powder over it but it's fine um i'm a red girly so like i feel like i just want to go with this dark one right here or okay there's pillow talk or there's pillow talk dream pop which is actually insane let's let's open them up i'm just so excited oh this is gonna be so stunning do i really want like a bright red cheek though right now like i'm about to go to my nephew's soccer practice i don't know if i need to be like <laughs> you know what i mean i love the packaging it's matte obviously people have a love-hate relationship with these little guys but i don't mind it it's fine like the product is worth it to me so we're gonna twist it on and then we're gonna Give it a little light squeeze. Oh, the lighting's changing. Oh my God, there it is. This is gonna be stunning. Oh my God, you guys, I'm nervous. Okay, here we go. Should I fill the whole tip of it? Okay, yeah, that's a lot of product. Okay, dab, dab. Okay, dab, dab. Okay, here we go. I just dropped it. We've got our beauty blender. We're gonna just dab her out oh yeah that is pigmented that's so pretty that added the blush right back to my face this definitely has like a purpley undertone to it which i don't know if i love like i always go for a very very pinky like rosy like vibe and this has like more of a purple undertone to it i don't know if it's picking up much on camera but it's not as pink as like I would personally. You guys are gonna call me insane, but like let's just stack like one dot of this red one on top of it, just to see. Cause like, you know, it's very mauve, it's very muted. Also, these are matte, I'm pretty sure, so. Twist, squeeze, oh, there she is. We're gonna do one dab. Oh, 
see i'm telling you guys this is the color that i will do now i have too much blush on because i'm stacking my third one but like that is more my color like a more corally pink vibe it's not as red as i thought it's much more corally but like see that kind of pink that's that's it you guys all right i've got too much blush on because i got excited and i wanted to try every brush that i got in the mail out but it's fine okay next question is where do you get most of your outfit inspo i would say most of my outfit inspo comes from pinterest I am always pinning things on there and like following different fashion trends like on not on TikTok necessarily because I feel like the trends on TikTok like the fashion trends change really quickly and I've honestly since 2020 gotten way more into oh my god it's so loud because there's a lot more outside uh I've gotten way more into creating a more staple wardrobe so I wear a lot of the same pieces every day like my day-to-day -day style is typically like the same exact thing every single day just like a different variation of it it's blue jeans and a white gray or black top like this skims top is essentially what i wear every day but i do like some statement pieces and so um i get all of my like statement kind of piece ideas and stuff like that from pinterest i also really like elsa hosk style i love her style i also love uh the way that danny michelle styles a lot of her clients she styles kendall jenner and she also styles uh hailey bieber i think and i just really really like the way she styles clothes like i think she does such a great job so that's kind of like where i get style inspo from someone asked what hair color would i not do or what hair color i'm scared to do i would say like i'm really scared to do like black full-on black hair because this brown I'm obsessed with, I feel like black hair would like actually look really nice. Like obviously, cause I, I feel like having like darker hair really helps if you have like uh, lighter features, like I have blue eyes and stuff like that. But I just don't think I would be able to recover from doing black hair. Like I just wouldn't want to ruin my hair. And my hair is actually really healthy right now, you guys. I have no extensions in whatsoever. And I actually have like, a thick head of hair every person i meet is like wow wait that's all your hair you actually have hair i'm like yeah i i do i just always wear extensions because i like having longer hair but then after like two months of extensions i'm so over it another color i probably wouldn't do but like i've always wanted to do but i probably won't is green just because i feel like green would be so cool i don't see like a lot of people do green hair probably for a reason because it's like kind of atrocious but I feel like green would be so fun. It just would fade really ugly. That's my only concern. Nude sticks sent over these little like eyeshadow sticks. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, they sent over a bunch of colors. So some of them are matte and then some of them are like a metallic shade. I'm gonna go for like a little matte shade because once again, I am going to my five-year-old nephew soccer practice after this. This is a very thick crown that i'm using but i'm going on with this nude sticks crown thing eyeshadow magnetic matte eye color oh my god this is in the shade g baby interesting i don't know how dark this is gonna be and i'm low-key scared okay wait that's kind of dark i wonder if i can blend it out with my finger like it does turn into a a shadow if you guys can see that okay hold on i'm gonna take a makeup brush and blend it out a little bit more definitely better with a brush than it is my finger okay that's cute that's really easy i just literally drew like two lines on my eyelid and then blended them out with this and you guys can see it just looks really like simple and easy i'm actually not even gonna do anything else because i typically don't even wear a lot of eyeshadow anyway so i'm just gonna like stack this on like see how you could just draw it on really messy and then i'll just like blend it out wait this is kind of cute you guys oh kind of it's really cute i like it i've been loving wearing like just a matte darker brown shadow on my whole lid lately because it looks so much better with my eyes like i'm so into it i feel like it looks so good with the brown hair it's become like my new favorite eyeshadow look literally just one color all over 
I think I need to add more over here because it's not as dark. Someone asked me what would be my tips for getting over a breakup, boyfriend, or a friendship. I would say whenever I have broken up with like either a boyfriend or I've had to end a friendship or something like that, I always keep in mind, also I'm in therapy. So like therapy is so healthy, you guys. I really, really enjoy going to therapy and I've learned a lot in therapy just like about myself and about like my life and stuff. But especially when it comes to like breakups or friendships ending and stuff like that, it's important to really like be able to feel two things at once. I think a lot of times when people break up or they like end a relationship, they like to just like point the finger or be like they're only this or like for me i don't believe like some people are just all bad or all good i think everyone is mixed and people have different things some people have more bad than good some people have more good than bad but like i don't believe one person is just all bad and another person is all good so it's really healthy whenever you in a relationship with someone to like really remember those things because it keeps in mind it like helps you not be extremely bitter and it helps you like look at things in a more healthy way as opposed to just blaming that other person or hating that other person because I feel like as you grow up, it's just so much better and healthier to like not have resentment towards people, like just see things for what they are. Like if a relationship had to end, it had to end. And remember the reasons why it ended. A lot of times, like if you are looking to get back with a boyfriend or girlfriend or maybe like rekindle a friendship or something like that, I honestly feel like it's important to remind yourself of how you felt in the relationship or remind yourself of the reasons as to why it ended because those things are really important. And as time passes, you can forget as to what they did to you or like how you felt in those moments. And it's important to remember that, honestly, for me, like, because I go to therapy, that's kind of like me keeping track of those things, like of those like feelings, like my therapist kind of helps me with that. But also you can like literally write a note down on your phone. Like I remember there was like one guy, like I used to like always like, just like, I was stupid. Like I would just always go back to him or like, I would just like forget that he was the worst all the time. <laughs> and I honestly had to start writing down all of the things that I like that he had done to me because I would completely forget them. Like I would just like not even acknowledge them and I would look back on them and I'd be like, this is not the type of behavior that I should accept. But I'm like allowing myself to accept it because I miss the good parts of that person. And like, that's not a healthy place to be. And that's not good for yourself or them. Like you guys need to move on. So like, those are some things that like I've learned especially like when it comes to boyfriends or girlfriends or whatever or friendships like those things are very important and healthy to do and also i think it's very like good to remember the longer you hold on to bitterness or resentment or like just negative energy towards someone like it's only gonna hurt you more you just need to like let it go like because it's really only hurting you so let that energy go. I'm gonna use this little shimmery eye stick. This is from Nude Sticks. It's in the shade Lilith. Um, and I'm gonna just put it on my brow bone just because, you know, I'm basic and I still like to highlight my brow bone. Okay, so let me live. While we're on the topic of like my therapy and all that kind of stuff, I got a couple questions about my social anxiety and how am I dealing with my social anxiety since I've moved to LA. I will say it's gotten better surprisingly because that was one thing I was really nervous about. That was like one of the main reasons I never wanted to come to LA or live in LA is because I was like, I'm such a socially anxious person. I don't know if I'll be able to deal with social settings as much. And like, I'm still not the best at it, especially when it comes to like brand events and things like that. And a lot of times people just think like, oh my God, yeah, I have such bad social anxiety. Like I hate going to brand events and I hate talking to people. And it's really not the same. Like it's, I don't know, like, when you have like true social anxiety, it's so frustrating. Like I am someone who in any social interaction I've ever had with anyone and it doesn't matter if it's a person. It's not like, oh, I had a really awkward encounter with this like random person like I've never met before. It's like people who I'm even the closest to with in my life, like even with like Brandon or family or like whatever, like I overanalyze like everything that I say, everything that I do, like, I like beat myself up about like beat myself up about a lot of social interactions that I have and 
honestly, I don't know a great coping skill for that. Like, I still struggle with it because I have such bad anxiety when I'm in social situations. I always feel extremely uncomfortable. Everyone around me will always be like, oh my god, you're so good at it. Like, it doesn't matter how I come across like that I'm like easy to talk to or like whatever it's like what's in my head it's like how I feel even though maybe outwardly I seem like it's fine because every time I'm with people they're like oh my god no you're so good at talking to people and I'm like no you guys don't get it like I'm gonna not sleep for three weeks because of this interaction that I just had <laughs> like it's bad anyway just a little bit about me, just girly things, you know? Okay, so my eyes are done. I'm gonna curl my lashes and then we're gonna try out a new mascara. This is from YSL, this is a brown mascara. So I've never done the little like brown mascara trend or whatever, but we're gonna do it today. And I'm gonna see how I like it. If I don't like it, it doesn't matter because I'm going to soccer practice. Thank you, Alex Earl, for making curling your lashes like a thing because I would have never done this before and look at my, I don't know what I just did to my eyes. They're like tweaking out. But like, look at my lashes when I curl them. They look so much better. Um, anyway, I've got a couple questions about my hand tattoos and what I'm gonna do next. If you guys didn't know, if I posted a vlog and I went and got hand tattoos. So I have the rose on my hand right now and I've got the H here. Uh, the H is for my sister Hannah because we always pinky promise each other. So I got it on my pinky and then I've got a little star. Why am I doing my hand that way? I've got a little star this way. I'm going to get a couple other things. I'm gonna, I think, get my initials. Well, I'm just gonna get a K. I saw on Pinterest this girl, she had an L on her hand and I just really liked the way it looked. And then I saw Rachel, I forget how to say her last name. You guys know what I'm talking about, I'll put her in my hair. I saw that she got the R and I was like, oh my God, that's like literally what I've been looking to get. So I think I'm gonna get my uh, letter, my first, <laughs> my letter i'm gonna get a k right here and then i'm gonna get my home address like not my home address but like the numerical number of my uh home that i'm in right now the home that i grew up in i'm gonna get it on my hand um and then i'm gonna get a couple other things i've just yet to decide those things but that's what i have planned oh and then all my fingers i'm gonna like cover them in sparkles like they're going to be you know, with all the little sparkles and dots and things like that on them. I've just really wanted hand tattoos for such a long time. And finally, I found someone who I know and trust and will do them good, which is my friend Wes. And so I'm like, let's do it. Okay, you guys, here we are with the brown mascara. I'm a little nervous because this might look really ugly because I don't even have like, I don't know. I think this is supposed to be like, just so it looks like more natural. Like you could do this to your lashes if you were like going to the beach. I keep saying the beach, but like, you know, to where it doesn't look so stark. Wait, I kind of like it. Like it's barely, you can barely tell that it's brown, but it's not really harsh, like a black eyeshadow. Like whenever I do a black eyeshadow, I feel like I look like I'm like trying to be like in full glam. Wait, you guys, I actually really like this. Am I gonna be a brown mascara girl? Have I been like, missing out on something because this is like making my lashes longer but it's not making it look like i'm doing like the absolute most i'm gonna do it on my lower lash line just because just because i'm feeling you know a little freaky okay wait you guys <laughs> wait like you're kidding <gasps> i love it i actually have like two other steps to do but i can't oh my god this I can never get this cap off of this lip liner. It's this rare beauty lip liner. Um, this is in the shape wise, and I can never get the cap off. It's always stuck. But I have to do my lips right now because I can't look in this video any longer with these crusty, dusty lips. My dad literally freaked out at my hand tattoos, you guys. He was not feeling it. I texted him a photo after I got it, and he literally responded and said, Oh my gosh, Keaton, are you sure? I said, what do you mean are you sure like it's done it's on my hand and he was like i actually like i'm shook that you would get that on your hand <laughs> you know everyone's like thing that they say is like oh my god what about when you're old i'm like i'm not even gonna care when i'm old like i don't know i just don't think tattoos are that serious like everyone acts like it's like the end of the world it's not to me it's really not it's really not look how pretty that lip color is looks so good so all i do is line my lips with that and then i've been using this kosas lip oil it's in the shade jellyfish i love this look at how look at this oh it's so like 
Mm, I literally just got this and I'm almost done with it. This is kind of a weird step that I've been doing in my makeup routine. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I bought this freck, you know, thing to like create fake freckles or whatever. And you guys know I do have freckles, but like I don't have like a ton when I put all this makeup on. And whenever I lay out in the summer and I like let my face get a little bit toasty, then I get freckles. And so because I don't have those right now, I've just been like adding some little ones on. Just like this, I like dab all over. Oh my gosh, this lawnmower is killing me, but we're almost done with the video. <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm putting you guys off, but I'm gonna put my finger, like I just like dab them out like this, and then they get all speckly like that, and they just look more natural. So I do this as like my final little step to my makeup. Look how cute, oh my God, do you hear that? No, you don't, because the one more stopped, and we're getting peace now. <gasps> Oh my god, I love it. Lastly, just to cover them up a little bit, just so they look a little bit more natural, I'm doing, I always do like a little bronzer. We're gonna contour the sides, give them a little moment. Wow, you guys, that's it for my makeup. I did my full makeup routine. I also just tried a bunch of new products, so. Um, yeah, I really like them. I'll link everything down below. Thank you guys for asking me questions and keeping up with me. I know that I've been so inconsistent here on YouTube. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video, but I just really felt so good about coming on here today and just doing my makeup, getting ready with you guys, answering you guys' questions and like chit-chatting. Like This felt so comfortable and really great for me, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. I stay up to date with you guys a lot over there. I also post a lot on Pinterest, so if you guys like like the vibe or like style of me, I get a lot of my inspiration from Pinterest. You guys can follow me over there. I'll link my Goodreads. I'll link everything in the description. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know what other videos you guys might want to see in the comments, and I just really appreciate you guys sticking around with me all of these years. I know some of you guys have been here for so long and I just really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for following me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.